Welcome to Football Friday Night. As usual, we start with our game of the week. Dee Jackson, he is out there at Shiny Mission, uh, Shiny Mission North Stadium with the highlights and post game from the Lawrence Free State Shiny Mission East game. Dee? I got to tell you, our game of the week, plenty of defense. And when defense happens, well, sometimes you get a tight matchup all the way into the end and beyond. Down 10 nothing. here come the Lancers. Christian Blessing calls his own number, goes over the top, cap it off. They made it 10 to 7. The Lancers trail by three in the fourth with time winding down. Blessing looking for a prayer, finds Charlie Wright for the big game. Lancers would settle for a field goal, but that's okay because they tie the ball game up at 10 apiece. Well, now it's time for Free State to take over. In the first snap in overtime, Stan Squarlow breaks away and gets the touchdown. 17 to 10, Free State wins. Join here with the head coach Robert Lister and coach an old-fashioned gritty ball game. A lot of defense in this one. There was a lot of defense. If you like defense, you should have enjoyed this one. Uh, uh, you know, offensively. They took a lot of things away from us because they had pretty stout defense. But uh, our defense made some plays when they had to. And then finally, in the overtime, offense made a play. What are you going to say to these guys now they got this victory in their belt? Well, I'm proud of the way they kept fighting. That was a tough fight, football game. They're 5-0 for a reason. They're pretty good. And our guys responded and came back and won. And what do you guys have next week, Coach? Uh, we start district play with Wyandotte next week. All right, congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate so much, it. Coach Lister. That's going to do it. A Wild West shootout here at Shawnee Mission. It was one for the ages. D. Jackson, 41 Action News. Okay, we travel to Shawnee Mission South Stadium for Olathe Northwest and Shawnee Mission West game. Shawnee Mission West playing for the first time without teammate Andre Maloney, who died this past week. We start off with our highlight of the night. West quarterback A.J. Verdini to Justin Hobbs. Dives in the end zone. He bobbled it, never touched the ground. What a grab. And then the Ravens strike back. Running back Cody Sestrich finds his way in for sixth. Olathe Northwest beats Shawnee Mission West to final 18 to 10. This is Blue Valley Northwest against Blue Valley West on homecoming night for the Huskies. The Timberwolves strike first. Running back Johnny Dunlap takes that one in for a touchdown. Blue Valley West, Blue Valley Southwest up seven to nothing. They stick another one in here. This is Drake Herman taking it in himself. 13-0 Wolves. The Huskies have a bite of their own. Our athlete of the week, Miles Alexander, strutting his stuff again this week. Takes it on a long touchdown run. Huskies take home another win. They're off to a strong 4-2 start. The final, Blue Valley Northwest 37, Blue Valley Southwest 26. Let's cross back over state line and Missouri side. We get started with a huge rivalry game. Blue Springs South and Blue Springs. Blue Springs is undefeated this season. 6-0. They get it going in the first half. Running back Dalvin Warmack on the nice run. Kansas State recruit had several big runs tonight. Now the junior quarterback Ian Brown connects with Darius Shepard for 20 yards on the play. They'll put the Wildcats up on the board and it wouldn't stop there. Blue Springs remains perfect this season at 7-0. They hammer Blue Springs South, the final 35 to nothing. We head east on I-70 to Oak Grove. Oak Grove hosting Harrisonville. Both teams 5-1 this season. It was a grudge match in the first half. First possession, Panthers quarterback Austin Blackston to Aaron Graham. Goodbye. 85 yards for the touchdown. Oak Grove up 7-0. But the Wildcats come right back. Zach Davidson connecting with his running back, Sherman Hartzler. He fights his way in the end zone for six. High ball game at seven, but Oak Grove turned it on in the second half, ran away from Harrisonville, the final 40 to 21. Not a Park Hill for the Liberty Park Hill game. It was all Liberty tonight at the Park Hill District Stadium. Park Hill, they fumbled a snap. It's going to cost them. Liberty defense picks this one up, runs it in the end zone. Liberty up on top 35 to seven. And here the Blue Jays go again. This is junior Kevin Bryant. Tunnels his way in for six points. Make it 41-7 game. Liberty moves on up in the standings. They are now 5-2, the final 55-14. A lot closer to home. University Academy against Pembroke Hill right down the street here. There's a Pembroke show in the second half. This is Tristan Threat. Who's uh, quite, well, a threat. Connects with Sean Reardon for a nice gain. Sets up a one-yard run into the end zone for another six. Pembroke Hill up. 13 to 7. Here comes another threat on the fake. Charlie Mueller finds his way into the open field. Pembroke on the scoreboard again. They improved to 6 and 1 this season. Let's go to the scoreboard for the final and 
rest of Football Friday Night Fun.